Bro, for real. I think roast, roast culture, or middle school culture. I feel like middle school culture is the biggest cause of anxiety in America, bro. And just talking about men, we always, as boys, we was always going on each other, right? When we was young, we was always going on each other, always cracking jokes, right? So say say you at the lunch table, you with your men, he point out, uh, say I got an acne breakout, my man point that out. Now he pointed out an insecurity, cracked a joke, it was actually funny. Now everybody at the table is laughing. Now I'm insecure and I'm embarrassed. But I'm a man, I'm a boy. All right. I'm a I'm a nigga. All right. So I'm not just going to let this nigga think that he just bitched me that I'm in my feelings over a joke. I'm going to just retaliate with another joke. And you see how the cycle continues because you don't want to look like you can't take a joke. All you do is retaliate with another joke. But when you leave that table and you go home, you thinking about what he said, like. Damn, bro, is my acne really? Do I really have a piece of face? You really start questioning yourself based off of a joke from your mans. And the only thing that made him crack that joke on you is because he's insecure in himself. The only thing that made you retaliate was because you're insecure in yourself. It takes so much mental fortitude to actually not be a victim of this. Niggas watching this are gonna brush this off and think they not a victim. No, I promise you, 98% of niggas are victims of this. Like, I literally watched my mans, bruh. In high school, sophomore year, point out a girl. He'll go up and go smack. And he'll bag her, too. Now, he done put on a little weight, but the men he always with, he always with his two men. They always cracking jokes on the weight he put on. Now, he has zero confidence to go up and talk to him. This nigga looked the exact same in the face. He's more mature. A girl is going to fuck with him more now than who he used to be. But because he is always getting torn down and joked on and he knows that all right it's actually kind of true I, I have put on weight now you're insecure all because of your men these niggas that you love are tearing down your mental fortitude but they don't even know that's what they're doing it's not just words it's not just jokes all right every every psych nah every joke got a little bit of truth to it the best jokes got a little bit of truth so when they say that, it's coming from a real place. That's why they are laughing, because they know it's actually true a little bit. And that shit just pierces the ego, all right? It's beating down your mental fortitude. Y'all probably gonna call me a pygmy, whatever. I really don't care. What bro was saying in the video was 100% right. And everybody in the comments and everybody that's been stitching this video calling them soft and shit like that, this is exactly why I don't really care about men's mental health, because y'all don't care about it. Bro got on here and was spitting some facts basically giving his experience talking about his emotions and shit like that and what did men do in the comments oh you're soft ah oh, you're soft dude ah oh, grow up here ah oh, you're soft ah oh. and this is exactly why nobody gives a fuck about men's mental health you know why because y'all don't give a fuck about men's mental health bro anytime a man expresses how he feels emotionally and stuff like that y'all are quick to call him soft y'all are quick to call him a bitch this is why nobody can and then in the same in the same fucking sentence you guys want women to be advocates for fucking men's mental health when you yourself aren't a fucking advocate for men's mental health bro this is what the fuck i be talking this is why i don't care about y'all bro i'm gonna be real the only time men come together and be vulnerable and talk about their emotions and stuff like that is when somebody posts a dumbass Bart Simpson edit about how their girl left them. That's the only time y'all come together. Why? Because it's a chance for you to bash on a woman. But if a man is just sad, just to be sad about some other shit, y'all are quick to tell him, oh, be a man. Don't be soft. This toxic ass be a man mindset that has been fucking, fucking passed down through generations the cycle is just continuing on and nobody's going to care about men's mental health if y'all keep doing this shit, bro. That's all I got to say.